Hey guys, it's Mike, Backyard Air Guns. Here today to do a review on one of the cheapest Bray Barrel air rifles I've ever found. Uh, I wanted to see what was the cheapest one I could find. So if, you wanna, if you're new to air gunning and you wanna see uh, what's it gonna cost to get in, I've got a Gammo um, 22 caliber uh, Bray Barrel rifle with a scope for $95. So uh, I'm going to put this thing to the test. You know, what do you get for 95 bucks? I know Gamo is a really good brand. Uh, I've got several of their rifles. Um, they're made in uh, Barcelona, Spain. All right, so let me tell you where I got this. Normally when I go air rifle shopping, okay, first place I check is Pellet Shop, Pyramid Air, uh, Fox, uh, Utah. Um, they, didn't, they did not have this one. So I went also Gamo site, right? Uh, Gamo site is higher on the Gamo site. I checked Amazon, right? So Amazon has got this rifle currently for 95 bucks. 95 bucks, you can get this rifle right here. I'm gonna put it to the test and uh, see if it's worth $95. So let's just take a quick look at it. Haven't opened it. Okay, here's the rifle. And you just go, the, uh, my biggest gripe with camo is the, the user's manual is just basically useless. And that's it, okay? Now, before we get into it, let's just talk about some of the specs here on the box. It says it does 1,000 feet per second. I'm sure that's using an alloy uh, pellet, which we found might, might not be the best pellet. But uh, we're going to see what, what a good pellet comes out of this gun at what speed. Um, whisper, uh, sound suppression. The great thing about the, the Gamo rifles, you, they are backyard friendly, right? You can fire these things all day long in the backyard uh, with no issue at all. So this one is IGT, okay? So it's not the spring that you're cocking. It's actually compressing gas, which is better. So the, the spring rifles, that, that spring can get weak over time. You, the gas pistons retain their, uh, their strength. It's got a one-year warranty. Some of the better ones have got a five-year warranty. This one's got a one-year warranty. Again, it's in 22 cal. It's called the Wildcat Whisper. If you look at the box, um, Gamo recommends this one for hunting. It's got five shots here. It's, it's ready for hunting first. Another would be pest control. And then uh, one, it only has one shot here for um, target shooting and uh, competition. But it, it's, it, again, it's noted here as a hunting rifle. So we'll see. Uh, any other thing I missed on here? Nope. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the rifle. Okay, I mean, it's basically steel and plastic, right? We've got a steel barrel, um, fluted barrel. I'm sure it's going to make it really quiet. Uh, I got a weaver mount right here for your scope, which most of the gamos do. Um, pretty good resistance there on the cocking effort. Okay, I think it's rated 30 pounds. Uh, trigger, it's got a safety. It's right here. Um, Again, this one does have a clip on it, right? This is single load. Again, it's 95 bucks. So when you break it like I just did, okay, you're gonna load your pellet right here, okay? And again, this is 22 cal. Um, it comes with a scope. This is a four by 32 scope. These aren't bad scopes, uh, but the fact you can get into the air gun uh, business for around 100 bucks, okay, the only thing only thing else you would need with this gun would be some pellets, and the 22 pellets are relatively cheap. So I'm gonna put it through its test. I'm gonna see how accurate the gun gun is, uh, how powerful the gun is, and then we'll do a uh, a quick pros and cons, and uh, we'll be back. All right, folks, we're here with this um, Gamo Wildcat Whisper uh, with a scope, and we're gonna test it out, see if it's accurate, see if it's got a power to uh, do hunting as uh, the box says it does. I've got targets down there 15 yards. Got a variety of pellets that I want to try. I'm not going to show all of them. I'll show the best ones. Um, the scope, again, it's, 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 a, it's a cheap scope. It's got little plastic things you take off to, to adjust the turrets. You know, little, need a little screwdriver to turn these. Uh, it's got parallax adjustment, but you got to unscrew this and then do this knob. So it's kind of kind of quirky, but again, we'll, uh, I think I got it you know, pretty focused. So uh, let's see what it'll do. I think I got the scope sighted in for this pellet. So I'm gonna do a little, do a little uh, five shot group 
that, uh, that upper left target. Folks, that's pretty good. Uh, it's got a group, you know, about, about like that. Again, 15 yards, uh, running right at a little under 700 feet per second with a 15 grain pellet. Uh, you could definitely do some pesting in your backyard with this. It's quiet. I mean, uh, the, all the gamos that have got the, uh, the shroud on are very backyard friendly. So let's try another pellet. Wow. No shot good too. Like, like that. All right, next up, I'm gonna try the Gamma Rocket. These are 14.5 grains. Bullseye. Wow, those did, that's the best group. Game of Rocket. <laughs> that's a tight group too, <laughs> like that. Um, that's, that's four different pellets different style pellets. It shot them all good. Um, there was no bad pellet in there that was all over the place. Let's take this out to 30, see what these do at 30 yards. Same pellets. All right, folks, we're set up for uh, 30 yards. Start out with the um, same order, Gamo Red Fire. Thirty yards made no difference. I actually might have tightened up a little bit. So the red fire again. I did these on the um, the Viper a couple months ago. Same results, hole in hole at thirty yards. So this Gamo break barrel likes these um, red fire Gamo pellets. All right. Let's, up next, let's try the uh, Hornets. Okay, those didn't group as good as the uh, the Red Fire did, but it's a good group. I mean, it's a 30 yards for a brake barrel, and it's, you know, like that. So if you're pesting squirrel, I mean, this would uh, this would take care of it. But the uh, the Red Fire is a, is a, is a tighter, tighter group. All right, five-shot group with the uh, Gamma Rocket. Those uh those those shot the best so far. You yeah, know, really tight group of thirty yards. All right, folks. Here is a list of um all the uh, pellet speeds and foot pounds of energy for each pellet, both at uh, fifteen and thirty yards. Um, if I had to pick one, I'm probably going to go with the Gamo Red Fire. Uh, these did really good in other Gamo brake barrels. Um, six hundred eighty-seven. It had the highest feet per second. All, all four, and I also had tied for the most energy at 16.1. So I'd probably go with Gamma Red Fire. They all shot good. Another one that shot really good was that Rocket uh, Gamma Rocket Pellet. All right, folks, on that last shot, I had a decimal meter set up at the uh, perimeter. It's about 20 yards for me inside my fence. Uh, 84.7 is what it uh, registered on the last shot. That's in my backyard, that's no issue at all. Been shooting back here all day. Um, it just goes along with ambient noise. So if I take this off of max, I mean, just me, just me talking is 68 or 70 decibels. All right, all right I'm gonna get back on my horse again. 
this is to all pellet manufacturers. <laughs> I have to take a picture of this Gamo TS-22 and blow it up <laughs> so I can see what grains these are. <laughs> pellet manufacturers, put the grain in the pellet a little bit bigger. <laughs> Let me give you a good example. <laughs> the Premier. 14.3, it's big and bold. I can easily know how much these weighs. This one here, I, I, gotta, I gotta shoot it with my phone. The, um, the H&M slugs, I need a microscope, okay? It's somewhere in that, in that code right there. So again, this is a little, all right, I'll get off my horse. All right, folks, here to do with the trigger test on this uh, rifle. Feels pretty good to me, I'm sure it's comfortable probably be around that two to three pound mark as most of these brake barrels are. It's adjustable, but uh, it, it's fine to me. But let's just see what it actually is. Oh, well, better than I thought. One pound, one ounce. Maybe that's why, <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't think I needed to adjust it. Let's try it again. Seven ounces. Twelve point seven ounces. Yeah, that's a good trigger. <laughs> you can adjust it, but it, again, it came out of the box like this, so I'm not going to mess with it. I like it. Now let's do the uh, the power test. Right, I'm going to start with this uh, TS22 flash point shot in the 30 yards. That's, that's where I got the uh, scope uh, sighted in it. All right, next up we're going to do the uh, red fire. All right, next up is the uh, the rocket. I just realized I shot the um, rocket out of turn, so I shot that in the second box. I went out and changed it. It shot, uh, it cleared four slats also. So first three pellets have cleared four slats. Um, the last one is going to be this Hornet. This Hornet pellet probably got the best shot of clearing five slats. We'll see. All right, folks, here to take a closer look at the penetration test for this uh, rifle. Uh, number one, um, let's just go in order. Oh, more advertising. Everybody, everything cleared uh, three. Please like and subscribe. Everything cleared four. All right, when you pull the four slat out, you're going to find pretty much all the pellets, except for one. There's the BB out of the rocket. Now this is the Hornet. The Hornet bounced back in here. I'm gonna show you why I know that. And three of it to fist flat. One, two, three. This is the, um, the TS-22, okay, coming in sideways right there. 
Okay. This hornet right here went through. And if you look at number six, okay, you can see where it hit number six at. So it cleared um, it cleared five and then bounced back into uh, uh, earlier, bounced back in a slot. So that's your results in the penetration test. All right, folks, here to do the summary on the Gamo Wildcat Whisper. Let me just give you the, uh, the pros and cons. Start with the cons. I got three cons. Uh, the manual, manual and the Gamo's rifles is unacceptable. It's a dainty little thing. It's, it's not any good at all. So the Gamo needs to do a better job on the manual for all their rifles. Um, the scope does not, um, it's just a 4X scope. Okay, so if you're looking for a rifle that's got a scope where you can zoom in and out, this is not it. Okay, this the scope's got four power and it just it stays at four power, there's no zoom. Now you do have a parallax on it, which is okay. Um, and the scope's okay for the gun. It's just, but if you're looking for a zoom scope, this is, this is not the one. And then finally, um, limited, uh, limited warranty, it's got a one year limited warranty. Normally the gamos, I think, go to three and five year on some of the, you know, the, the swarm magnums, bone collectors, and so forth. So this one's got a one year warranty on it. That's the three cons I got on this rifle. Uh, the pros, I got, I got quite a few pros. Um, let's start with the, the obvious one. It's $95. <laughs> I'll repeat that. This rifle and scope combo is $95. So if you're looking for an entry level uh, entry into air gunning, um, pellet gunning, pellet rifle, okay, this might be it. Again, you can test uh, whether you want to get in this field uh, for a mere 100 bucks. And again, I got this on, um, got this on Amazon. Um, it's um, it's accurate in the backyard, right? So there's 15 yard groups minus these two. There's um, there's 30 yard groups. Okay, so if you're shooting a bird or a squirrel, chipmunk, okay, it would be it'd be definitely accurate uh, in the backyard. And Gamble's got this rated for hunting. So out of all the things you can do with it, they they recommend it for hunting. Obviously, backyard hunting. Uh, it's gas piston IGT driven okay it's not a spring i are really not a big fan of the springs because they get they can get weak on you over time the gas piston stays the same energy from start to finish year after year after year so the igt on the 95 dollar rifle is a, is a good deal uh, it's quiet okay it's got the suppressor on the barrel uh, most gamble brake barrels are quiet some more quiet than others but again this one um it's it's friendly in the backyard i've been shooting it all day and it just blends in with everything else in the, in the neighborhood. Um, the Gamo brand, okay, it's not some knockoff, okay. It is a Gamo uh, branded rifle, Barcelona, Spain. Uh, they put out good quality products. Um, we talked about being a good entry point uh, into the air gun field. So um, for $95, I recommend the rifle. Guys, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back. Thanks.